Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe in what the Bible says. The Bible is the word of God, only the Bible. Anybody who believes in other books of the Bible, like the Apocrypha or anything else, that's not the Bible. The Bible is the word of God. The 66 books make up one book, the Old and New Testament. And the Bible is summarized. The Bible summarized in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. You see, the Hebrew Israelites are down there preaching a different gospel. It's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. The enslavement that we have as human beings is the enslavement to sin. Jesus said, all who sin are slave, slaves to sin. You see, you could be in slavery, you could be as rich as anything, but if you are in sin, you are a slave to sin. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Sin is defined by the breaking of God's law. The breaking of God's law, the Ten Commandments clearly define what God's law is. The Bible says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. There's only one true God at the center of the universe, and that's the God Almighty behind the Bible who caused the Bible to be written. He's the maker of heaven and earth. Thou shalt have no other gods. So the God of the Bible claims to be the one and only true, holy God. And the Bible says that God is holy, holy, holy. The God of the Bible is a holy God, and he cannot tolerate sin in any way, shape, or form. So any of us who have broken the law of God are against God. We're God-haters. We've all sinned. That's what it says. For the wages of sin is death, and we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It doesn't matter what color skin you have, like the Hebrew Israelites try to tell you. They try to tell you that if you are light skin, white skin, you're not going to go to heaven. You're going to be a slave. Well, the Bible says that a person who is in sin is a slave to sin. And the only way we could be free from sin is by the power of the shed blood of Jesus Christ, who is, fought, God bless you, sir, who is fully God and fully man. That's the only way. Anybody who is in sin is a slave to sin. You could be rich. You could be, have everything in your life. But if you have sin in your life, you are a slave to sin. The Bible said that thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. And so often the Catholic Church has graven images, images of Mary and images of the saints. And, the, and Roman Catholics bow down to them. But the Bible says thou shalt not have make unto thee any graven images. And the law of God says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for God will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. To remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. That's the law of God. The law of God says, Thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. That's what the, God's law says. That the law, we are to honor our fathers and our mothers in godly authority over us. The Bible also says, the law of God says, Thou shalt not murder. And Jesus even said that if you have hatred in your heart, if you have hatred in your heart, you have committed murder. And the men down at the corner down there have hatred in their heart. They have hatred towards white people. But the gospel of Jesus Christ is for all human beings. All human beings, wherever you come from, doesn't matter. God, God can save us no matter what color our skin is, what language we speak, what country we come from. And the Bible says, thou shalt not murder. <clears throat> and if we hate in our hearts, hate in our hearts is murdering our brothers and sisters in Christ. It's so that if you have hate and harbor hate in your heart, you have committed murder in your heart. And we live in a murderous land. We live in a land that murders kill children. Over 100 million children have been murdered in the United States of America legally. America has broken the law of God. Every one of us have broken the law of God. The Bible says that thou shalt not commit adultery. And Jesus said, if you look at a woman in lust, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. You see, Jesus made sin not just something that's external. It's in the heart. 
And it's God that must take away our hearts of stone and give us a heart of flesh by the power of the Holy Spirit. And if you've ever looked at another human being with lust in your heart, fornicating in your heart, committing adultery, then you sin before God. And if you've ever stolen, thou shalt not steal, you've broken the law of God. And if you've ever brought for false witness, you've broken the law of God. And if you've coveted, you've broken the law of God. And But the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death and eternity in hell, forever separated from God. It's not like the happy, clappy rainbow churches try to tell you. If you are not in Christ, you are against God. You are a God hater. And so we're calling you to repent before God to turn away from sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wages of sin is death. If you continue on in death, you will end up against God. And when you stand before God, God will say to you, depart from me, for I never knew you. And that day there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But if you are standing before God Almighty, covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, trusting in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, I tell you, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. So whoever turns to God by the power of the Holy Spirit, God Almighty will forgive your sin. It is a gift, the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. God can and will forgive your sin based upon the work and person of Jesus Christ. You see, when Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God and the Son of Man, went to the cross, he went to the cross as a perfect human being, fully God and fully man. And when God the Father poured out his wrath upon Jesus Christ, he did it on behalf of sinners. He punished God the Father, punished Jesus Christ, God the Son, on behalf of sinners. He poured out his punishment towards sin upon the Son, Jesus Christ. And that's why it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, For he hath made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. There's an exchange that happens on the cross. Justification by faith means that God pardons our sins, forgives our sins, takes away our sin based upon the person and work of Jesus Christ upon the cross over 2,000 years ago. It means that Jesus Christ was punished on behalf of sinners, punished on your behalf when you put your hope and your faith in him. But that's not the all, all that happens on the cross. God gives you the holiness and righteousness of Christ God makes you holy. You see, we cannot come to God in our own righteousness. The Bible says that our righteousness, our holiness, our good works is nothing but filthy rags before God Almighty. Nothing but filthy rags. But when you stand in Jesus Christ, when you trust in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, God accounts the blood of Jesus Christ, the righteousness of Christ to your account. And this is why what we're preaching is different than the false Hebrew Israelites over there. They're preaching a false gospel. It's a false gospel because they think salvation is based upon the color of your skin. No, salvation is based upon the color of the blood of Jesus Christ, which was red, and it was pure, and it was holy. And when Jesus Christ shed his blood, it was shed because of the glory, the, the wrath of God visited upon him. And when you are in Christ Jesus, God will forgive you of your sin. He'll take away all your unrighteousness, and he'll proclaim you righteous and holy and forgiven. And then he adopts you as a child of God. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, whether you're black or white or yellow or red. It doesn't matter because God adopts us based upon the person and work of Jesus Christ. And then he sanctifies us. He fills us with the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. He's saying that to those who believe in Jesus Christ. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, your body is the temple. You cannot do whatever you want with your body because our bodies have been given to us by God. And if you're a Christian this day, if you're a Christian and you're practicing homosexuality, if you're a Christian and you're practicing adultery, if you're a Christian and you're practicing idolatry or hatred, then you do not know God. 
God, the Holy Spirit is with us now to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all unholiness. The power of the Holy Spirit will dwell in your very body. And he will make you more and more like Jesus Christ. Don't listen to the Hebrew Israelites. I tell you, they'll lead you to the path of hell. Listen to what the Word of God says. The Word of God says, for the wages of sin is death. Not the wages of your color of your skin is death. The wages of sin is death. All who sin are slaves to sin. But the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. And that's what we're preaching to you. The life of God. The holiness of God that God gives us through the Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You can have that eternal life this day if you turn away from your sin by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says he will take away your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. He'll make, give you a heart that can respond. But if you are not in Jesus Christ, you have a heart of stone. Doesn't matter whether your skin is black or doesn't matter if your skin is white. Doesn't matter. It's the color of your heart. And all our hearts are guilty with the, with the stain of sin. And Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Come this day. Come this day and follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and the Son of Man, fully God and fully man. So when Christ went to the cross, he went to the cross as the Son of God and the Son of Man, the last Adam. And as the last Adam, God then poured out his wrath upon Jesus. God punished Jesus Christ on behalf of sinners. And you, sir, and I are both sinners before God. And God can and will forgive your sin based upon the blood of Jesus Christ, the death of Jesus Christ. The only answer of this world, the only answer of this world is the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. You can protest all you want, but until the Lord God Almighty changes your heart, takes away your heart of stone, your heart of hatred, and gives you a new heart by the power of the Holy Spirit, there's going to remain hate in this world and hate in your heart. This day, turn away from your sin. Turn to God by the power of the Holy Spirit, and God will forgive you of your sin. Hay salvación solamente en Jesucristo, porque Jesucristo es la verdad. Jesucristo es la, la vida. Jesucristo es el camino. Hay salvación solamente en Jesucristo, en la sangre de Jesucristo, en la cruz de Jesucristo. Hay salvación solamente en el Hijo, el Hijo de Dios. Confía este día en Jesucristo, confía en Jesucristo, en la cruz, en la sangre de Jesucristo. By the power of the shed blood of Jesus Christ, el poder de la sangre de Jesucristo es la salvación de, de Dios solamente en el Hijo. El, el Jesucristo es el, el Señor Jesucristo, es el Hijo de Dios. El hombre y Dios, ambos. The only way that we can have salvation is through the blood and salvation of Jesus Christ. And I pray, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so I pray that the Holy Spirit will use the preaching of his word, that he'll take away your heart of stone and he'll give you a heart of flesh so that you will know and follow and believe in Jesus Christ this day and trust in the blood and atonement of Jesus Christ this day. And so I'm gonna close now and I'm going to close finally with that scripture from Romans chapter 7. For the wages of sin is death, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in the Messiah, Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. Gloria de, de Dios. Amen. Creen Jesucristo? Habla inglés? You do. Amen. Ah, no, el católico no cree en Jesucristo completamente. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, la Biblia y otros libros. No es, no es. We are Catholic. We are Catholic. I believe in Jesus. Jesus is my God. Yeah, but you don't have to go through a priest. That's, that's what we want. But you don't. But the Bible says you can go to Jesus directly without the priest. 
You don't need the priest. You don't need the mass. Well, well, I, I, we don't believe in, 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 in the pope. I don't believe in the pope. I don't believe in the priest. The only thing I believe is in God. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Leave the Catholic Church. Oh, oh. Leave the Catholic Church. Uh, my mom and my dad, they raised me like that way, right? Mm -hmm. We used to be go to church every week. But I don't go to church. Why? Because it's hard to find a good everybody's church. Everybody's fake over there. Yeah. They, you go over there, they, you see you walking in so and they turn, they, you. they turn around and they, they looking at you. It's not like that. Yeah. Yeah. I go over there because I want to see you guys. You house. want to go to God yourself. Yeah. So yeah. I do this in my house, you know. Yeah. I, I pray in my it's house. It's hard to find a good church. It's, it's not anymore Ooh. around. It's not anymore. Yeah. With all the rainbow and, churches and around. I pray here. my kids, but I don't want my kids because the ladies don't get respect by themselves. The way they dress, they think they go to the club. That's so touching respect that they made me feel so bad and uncomfortable that I can bring my kids over there. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Confia en Jesus Christo. Of course, solamente, of course. 100%, solamente. 100%. 100%. Every day in my heart. Sí. Every day in my heart. As soon as I wake up, I say, thank God. You know, it's every day. I love Jesus. I believe really Jesus. Jesus what, is my God. What's your name? Francisco. Francisco, soy Norman. Norman. Do you mind if I pray for you? No problem. Father, I thank you for Francisco. I pray you would bless him, Lord. I pray you would... Be able to find a good church because I can't find one either. I pray, Lord, that he would continually know you. You would bless him as a dad, bless him in his family. I pray that he would know Jesus Christ in a greater way. May he trust in nobody but Jesus Christ. I thank you for him and listening to your word and trusting in Christ alone for his thank salvation. You. You. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you, Francisco. No, it's pleasure too. That's why I'm coming here, here, because I don't like the way you say over there. Oh, I, mean, I, I have to be here. Yeah. I said, yeah. that's the way I roll, that's the way I go. They preach hate down they there. They preach hate it there. Yeah. That's why I, I can't, understand, can't understand what they say. So I'm, I'm sorry yeah. if I No, what they say, it. they say white people, yeah. white the, people go to hell. Go to hell, that's yeah. what they say. They say, that's what I try to understand, but I don't want to say that. That's what they say, yeah. They tell me that. Oh. They say, you're not, this book is not for white people. This is only for black people and Latinos. Get, get out of here. No, it's for, everybody. for that's, everybody. That's, this one right here is the God, it's the life. This one right here is, is the word. For everybody. It's the word. It's no matter you ash, um, red, blue. No, this is the heart. This is the love. Whatever you want, text, this is right here. That's right. That's right here. Yep. That's, that's it doesn't throat. matter that's the color life. of our skin. It's no matter the skin. Yeah. It's no matter. When Jesus be, when Jesus be coming in this world, you see blacks, you see everybody. That's right. You know, we, we know like that. He, he told us we go that way. It's, we know like that. Yeah. You know, it's, so, but no, it's not in my mind. Thank God, it's not in my mind. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. What they, matters they, is not the they, color they, of the skin they, of Jesus. They, they I heard a little bit yeah. what they say. I, I got to go away before they made me sick in here. Yeah. I got to go away. Yeah. Uh, the devil was in the corner over there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stay over here. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, absolutely. De donde viene tu país? México. México, ¿qué parte de México? Paloma, Chihuahua. I'm from the border. Ah, no conozco no. Chihuahua. No. Es hermoso. Oh, lindo. Sí. Okay. Wow, conozco Guadalajara, I, I Oaxaca. Know, I know a lot of white people over there. They own houses, they have yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, they go over there. But they're cool people too. Yeah. They're cool people. They Chihuahua. teach us in here, yeah. they lawyers, stuff like that. They just want a good life, you know. Yeah. They don't want nobody bothers. Estoy enseñando mi hijo español. Good, good. Sí, hablo español good. con mi hijo todo el tiempo. Sí, yeah, you, dice, brother. él tiene 16 meses. I got it. Hey, nice to see you. See you in the next life. God bless you. Okay, no problem. I see you next week, maybe here. All right.